What's up, family? It's Mark. I'm the guy behind the Mental Marketer and the Facebook group Funnel Building 101. In this video, I'm going to show you how to automatically approve your Facebook group members and push the information from the three questions straight to a Google Sheet automatically. If you watched the video where I showed how I use Facebook group funnels to create multiple streams of revenue, then you also saw how time consuming and clunky it was to manually get that information from Facebook and putting it into a Google Doc and then transferring that information to the inside of the email autoresponder in ClickFunnels. Man, I did that for each and every contact and it took a long time. And that was fine when I had two to three member requests a day, but what about when there's hundreds of requests a day? There's no way I could do it. I'd be there all day. That's why I'm so ecstatic about a little teeny tiny Chrome extension called Group Convert. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to download it and connect it to your Facebook group so you don't waste countless hours like I did. If you're new to my channel, make sure to like and subscribe to continue receiving great reviews. The very first step is to head on over to the Chrome store and look for Group Convert. There'll be a link in the comments to get a 14 day free trial. Now, once you're there, you wanna hit Add to Chrome. It runs its check and then you hit Add Extension. Signing in with Google, you'll need to confirm your Google account that you'd like to use and allow Group Convert the necessary access and permissions. From there, it will add it to your list of Chrome extensions. You'll see the G icon in the upper right corner. You'll click the G and it'll prompt you to enter your email address. Now, you won't be able to sign in with the Google sign on the very first time but you'll enter your password and then hit sign in. Now you're in. You can take a look at the different plans available. It's just $10 a month for the starter plan, then goes up to $17 if you need to manage more groups and spreadsheets, and all the way up to $197 for the lifetime unlimited plan. The links tab has helpful links like support, upgrade, payment method, and access to a five-day group growth challenge. The next tab is the settings. Now you can turn this on, and what this does is, even if you decline someone's request, it will still send their info to your Google Sheets, and that's pretty neat. Now we wanna get this set up. So the first thing we want to do is go to our Google Sheet. Now the Google Sheet needs to be set up so that it has headers. That's so that when the information is transferred, it goes in the right row and the right column. Now you'll see this sheet is set up with those headers and the headers correspond with the data that's being transferred from the Facebook group questions. So this is question one, this is answer one, this is question two, and this is answer two. Now there'll be a link around this video to get this exact sheet so you can be sure it's formatted correctly. Now what we want to do is get the share link for this sheet. So we'll hit this share button on the top. Up pops the sharing options. Now we wanna change the restrictions to anyone with the link. Then we'll copy that link. Now we're gonna go over to Facebook inside of the Facebook group and in the member request area, now you'll see that there's now an input right here at the top that says, please enter the URL of your Google Sheet. And this is where we want to paste the URL that we just copied onto our clipboard. Then success, the sheet URL has been added. That's awesome, and that's it. That's all we need to do to install the Chrome extension and set up the communication between Facebook and the Google Sheet. Now, let's get the members approved and the info transferred over to the Google Sheet. 
Now I have six members that are waiting to get in the group and I've looked them over and I'm ready to approve them. Now you can approve them individually, but I'm going to approve them all at once. So I click approve all. And just like that, all six of the requests are approved. The next step is to go into the Chrome extension to make sure the data has been transferred. You click the G in the upper right corner and then you'll go to click view the data. It takes us to see that the data that's been extracted from Facebook and we can see that all six of the new members information has been uploaded. Now, the next thing we want to do is move that information from inside of the Chrome extension to the Google Sheet. There's a button right here that says push to Google Sheet. We'll click that and it'll ask if you're sure you want to clear all data. We'll hit OK. Now that's going to push all the info to the Google Sheet. And you can see here that all of the contact info has been pushed over. And that's it. We've gone from Facebook to the Chrome extension to the Google Sheet. Now, I've showed it to you manually, but there are two more options to look at that will completely automate this process. Now, let's go back to the Chrome extension. You'll see this button over here that says Automate Facebook. This button will automatically approve any member requests. So you don't have to manually approve them. You can set it up auto approve all or only approve if all three of the questions are answered. The next thing we can automate is pushing the info from inside of the Chrome extension to the Google Sheet. This button on the left just says automate. And when you click it, you can set it so that it pushes data to the Google Sheet automatically. Just remember to set the time between uploads to be more than 15 minutes. And that's it. You'll find a link to this sheet somewhere around this video and a link to try Group Convert free for 14 days. Thanks for watching. Make sure to catch the next video where I show you the next step, which is connecting this Google Sheet to ClickFunnels so it pushes the email address straight into a contact and onto an email list so you can send follow-up emails. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day. Do you want to learn Facebook ads without paying thousands of dollars for an expensive course? Well, we've put the perfect PDF together that will help you. It's a collection of free resources that we've scoured the internet for to get you started running Facebook ads like a pro. And this collection is Growing Your Business Using Facebook, the complete guide to Facebook advertising, learn Facebook video ads from the experts, how to create Facebook video ads, and these are with templates, 165 of the best Facebook ad examples, and how to see competitors targeting on Facebook, and how to create Facebook custom audiences from people that click on your links. Plus, there's some bonus material with 10 more Facebook ad examples that convert, a free four-week social media marketing course, and free Facebook video covers, plus more. Just find the link somewhere around this video to get access. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks so much, and have a great day.